John Kerry, the U.S. Secretary of State, has issued a stern warning to Islamic State extremists that the world will not be intimidated by their actions. To tell us more about this story and other stories, Paul Lee is joining us from the News Center. Paul, this comes in response to the brutal killing of yet another American, this time aid worker Peter Kasich, by IS militants. What else did he have to say to this group? Well, America's top diplomat said the U.S. will continue to deeply engage IS in the Middle East in order to stop the potential spread of the group's violence around the world. This has efforts to identify and hunt down the Western suspects shown to be killing prisoners in another propaganda video are intensifying. Our Connie Lee has this report. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry had some strong words for Islamic State militants. Well, let us be clear. We are not intimidated. You are not intimidated. Our friends and partners are not intimidated. ISIL is very, very wrong. The statement at a Washington Foreign Policy Forum on Monday comes a day after the White House confirmed the terrorist group beheaded another American, this time 26-year-old aid worker Peter Kasig. Kasig's parents also spoke out on Monday and asked for privacy as they take time to mourn, forgive, and heal. Our hearts are battered, but they will mend. The world is broken, but it will be healed in the end. And good will prevail as the one God of many names will prevail. Meanwhile, Western intelligence officials are now trying to identify the foreign jihadists seen in the latest propaganda video. The video, which also shows the beheading of 18 Syrian prisoners, differs from other videos previously released by IS. This one clearly shows the faces of the fighters and reveals how the group has attracted a good number of foreigners from around the world. It's believed that British and French nationals are among the militants seen killing the captured soldiers. British intelligence officials are looking into two British men, with one being 20-year-old Nasser Muthana, while French officials have identified one of the militants as 22-year-old Maxime Hauchard. According to a human rights monitoring group, IS militants have executed nearly 1,500 people in Syria over the last five months. Connie Lee, Arirang News.